Trying to entice bees into your landscape may seem foolish to some people. After all, these bees have stingers and can inflict pain on any human that gets too close to them. But bees are actually more beneficial than harmful, and without them, flower, vegetable, nut, and fruit production would be severely curtailed. These small insects are the number one natural pollinator, and by pollinating certain flowers that attract bees, you'll be providing them with food so they can do their job and increase their population. Any flower that provides nectar, pollen, and a flat landing surface will be attractive to bees in your area. However, there are a few specific flowers that seem to attract more than others. Plus, these flowers are easy to grow and provide landscape color and beauty. Aster Perennial asters create 6-inch tall flower mounds that produce an abundance of white, pink, purple, or blue blooms from late summer until the first frost of fall, hardy in zones 3 to 8. Sow seeds directly into prepared soil after all danger of frost has passed in the spring. Calendula Brilliant orange blooms appear in mid-summer on tall, 1 to 2 feet, annual calendula plants. Blooms may be single or double, and also come in a variety of colors besides orange, including yellow and cream. Sow seeds directly into prepared soil after all danger of frost has passed in the spring. Bee Balm Bee Balm is a native wildflower that is hardy in zones 3 through 9. This tall plant will provide colorful, fragrant flowers all summer when planted in a location that receives plenty of moisture and fall sun. Bee Balm plants are not heat or drought tolerant and will not grow well under either extreme condition. If you live in a region with extreme summer heat, plant bee balm in a garden location that will be shaded from the afternoon sun and give the plants plenty of water throughout the summer. In addition to attracting bees, this fragrant flower is also a favorite of hummingbirds and can be used for making tea. Start with plants or seeds after the soil warms up in spring. Coreopsis Drought-tolerant, easy-care Coreopsis will attract bees, butterflies, and birds all summer with its flat bloom that comes in colors of red, yellow, pink, orange, or maroon. This perennial is hardy in zones 3 to 11 and reaches a mature height of between 8 inches and 4 feet depending on the variety planted. Sow seeds directly into prepared soil after all danger of frost has passed in the spring. Cosmos Cosmos comes in a wide range of bloom colors, and plants will reach a mature height of between 1 and 6 feet, depending on the variety planted. Hardy in growing zones 3 to 11, this annual flower prefers to be planted in full sun, but will grow well almost anywhere. Sow seeds directly into garden soil after all danger of frost has passed, or plant bedding plants after soil has warmed up in the spring. Dahlias Dahlias are easy-care flowers that perform their best during the hot, dry days of July, August, and September when most other flowers wilt by the wayside. Dahlias are hardy in zones 8 to 10, and come in a wide variety of bloom colors and heights and will attract a steady stream of bees and birds. Marigolds Marigolds are easy-to-grow flowers that are drought-tolerant, require little care, and will reseed themselves. There are several bloom colors and varieties available and mature heights can range from a few inches to a few feet. Hardy in most growing zones, bees love all types of marigolds. Rudbeckia Also known as black-eyed Susans, Rudbeckias and all varieties of these annual daisy-like flowers are hardy in zones 3 to 9. Sow seeds into prepared soil after all danger of frost has passed in spring. Purple Coneflower Attractive to bees, butterflies, and birds, purple coneflowers come in several different bloom colors. This tall perennial plant blooms from midsummer through fall and provides decorative seed heads once the blooming is finished. Hardy in zones 3 to 9 and attracts a variety of butterflies and birds. Zinnia Zinnias are annuals that will produce long-lasting blooms from summer until the first killing frost of fall. Blooms are large and range in colors from white, red, orange, yellow, purple, and lilac, and come in single or double petal varieties. Plants will range in mature height from 6 inches to 3 feet, depending on the variety planted and are hardy in most planting zones. 